my friends, MD Vegan. I make a rice soup, um, or a curry rice corn soup. So a corn soup with curry rice in it. So first I make the corn soup. That's very easy. And I have the wonderful coconut milk. That's um, really nice to make these nut milks and seed milks and to use them in soups and dressings and sauces and all the and desserts, also cakes, yeah. Very nice. Um, they have a nice flavor, make it gentle and creamy. Different, different um, every time there are so many. And I have some corn here, yeah, to make the soup as the base of the soup. The soup has to be a little bit runny and a little bit creamy, more runny than creamy, not too thick. So I need to, to care uh, how much coconut milk has to be put in. This is a cup of corn. Yeah. has been frozen, but when you are fresh, even better. Uh, frozen corn is always available here in the health food shops, and it's organic and it is um, very inexpensive. Yeah. Um, the fresh corn, they don't have it always. I like, but I don't know, somehow they don't, they don't buy it, I don't know. <laughs> Not so much in raw food, I guess. So, yeah, uh, the milk now, I just begin with a cup, uh, or maybe two cups, I guess a little bit more, one and a half cup to begin with. And I want a seasoning, um, and corn is very nice together with um, cayenne pepper, garlic and salt. This is uh, today my seasonings. I try this here, a little bit of salt, one piece of garlic, and cayenne pepper, not too much of course. Of, though corn can take a lot of spices, yeah. It's an earth um, vegetable, I would say, or yeah, it's a cereal to be precise, but um, it is a very earthen to me and can take a lot of spices. So, just blend it up and see what happens. Blender dance. variations, a lot of options when you uh, make corn soup. Um, yeah, it's uh, very easy, uh, but this with salt, garlic and cayenne pepper is just basic. I'll try now. Yeah, the creaminess is nice. Could be a little bit creamier, uh, a little bit water, uh, a little runnier. Let's save out the flavor first. Mm. Oh. Perfect flavor. Wonderful. I'll show you in a moment. Um, I'm wondering, Maybe a little bit more runny. Oh, the flavor is really nice. The cayenne pepper, mmm, this is perfect. There's a little bit more, a little bit. That's just up to you. Now I have two cups, I guess. And I'll blend one more time. After, or directly before I put um, the rice into the soup. Now I make the rice. It's cauliflower rice. Food processor fitted with the S-blade. Always use this for, make, for making rice. And I have just a quarter of a little bit larger head. Yeah, these I take the, the florets and a little bit of the stem, not too much. Otherwise, the rice will be too gross. It should be a rice like texture, too similar to uh, regular rice. And in this time, in this case, for this soup, I will season the rice a little bit. Usually, I make uh, the simple version just rice, process it for three or four seconds, done. Today, I put curry into it. And a little bit of salt, but one thing is important here, not too much salt, yeah? Just the tip of a knife, yeah? Very um, pinch of salt only. Otherwise, it's slightly too much, very quickly. And here's a nice amount of curry powder. Curry powder has <coughs> very nice seasonings, uh, seasons in it, um, spices in it. Very healthy, turmeric, of course. Super healthy, one of the healthiest at all. And, um, we know it's perfect with rice. Curry rice is classic. Just, just processing one round. Ooh. That looks good to me. Yeah, I'll taste it and I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. You see? Cauliflower too, by itself, very healthy and delicious, but it can also use um, strong seasoning, yeah? similar with the corn. Um, 
So now I put um, just three things together. The soup, I'll blend it one more time. Let's make it a little bit creamier. I love corn in so many variations. I make crackers from corn, very simple, just three ingredients. A soup, as you can see in a salad, it can be wonderful. And here, I show you my soup. I can eat this soup as is, you see. Such a delicious delicacy here. Just the ingredients of the, this soup. The perfect texture to me, nice and runny. And the flavor is amazing. There is a little hotness in that soup. Yeah, the cayenne pepper comes through. And um, now I put the rice on top. <clears throat> show you the rice. Did you show you already? Yeah, it's a nice rice soup. I'll use a tool for it. Let's see. This is easier for this uh, to get the rice out of the container. Yeah, just put it into the soup very easy. So we have really something to, to digest. Uh, very nice. And on top of the rice, I have a third part, third ingredient, that is just yellow bell pepper. It adds a little bit of fruitiness into it. Sweetness, slight flavor. It's um, very light of the, all the bell peppers. I guess yellow is the, the lightest one. And um, I just combine it now. And then I will enjoy. It's so easy. Uh, corn, uh, uh, curry rice, corn soup. Yeah, that's all yellow today. I wanted to stay with the color yellow. I'll see um, if it tastes now. Mm. Mm. Wow, They're perfectly balanced together. Nice, <clears throat> almost a chowder, a yeah, corn chowder. And it has a nice bite here. Nice seasoning. I love it already. I will definitely make more rice soups. I recently began with the um, cauliflower rice soups and it's a wonderful variation for a full meal. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. If you like, thumbs up, subscribe and leave it on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.